Hare Krishna. What is the miracle behind Iskon being very successful in publishing Bhagavad Gita? This is story from Srila Prabhupada Lilamrita. We'll enjoy reading it. Uh, there's an excerpt of it on the website Krishna.com. It's called Macmillan Miracle. M A C M I L L A N Miracle. So one of Prabhupada's earliest disciples, uh, Bruce Sharp, he was later called Brahmananda Dasa Prabhu. He was told to publish Bhagavad Gita as it is. And he tells Srila Prabhupada, I don't know what to publish. But Prabhupada gave him the manuscript saying, you must get this published. So, Brahmananda Prabhu had to do it. He didn't know how to do it. He was thinking, if big personalities like Raya Rama Prabhu and Allen Ginsberg couldn't do it, how could he? He bought a few books on publishing. He was about to take a publishing course in New York University. He didn't know what to do. But he wanted to satisfy his Guru's will. At that time, devotees released the Happening album. It's an assortment of devotional songs sung by Prabhupada with music and they placed an ad for the record in a newspaper and somebody responded to the ad saying I want that uh, that particular album that person that that order actually came from a clerk in Macmillan which is a printing company they're one of the biggest publishers in the world Prabhupada looked into the disciples eyes and told him don't send it by post, but go to the Macmillan's office and hand deliver it to the person who sent you the letter. Brahman Prabhu was thinking, oh, Krishna is using me as an instrument. Nimitra Mata Bhava Arjuna. Then Sri Prabhupada said, when you deliver the album, tell them that you are a disciple of a guru from India and that the guru has translated the Bhagavad Gita. They will publish it. Don't worry. Prabhupada said this very confidently and Brahman Prabhu was thinking, where is this confidence coming from? Uh, so the next day, dressed in a suit and tie, devotees should dress to the occasion, including me. Next day, dressed in suit and tie, Brahman Prabhu made up to the Macmillan skyscraper at 866 3rd Avenue. It's at 52nd and 3rd Street of the Manhattan Rectangle. He had big expectations. Uh, and this person turned out to be a, a simple worker who had interest in mantras and meditation. The clerk. So Brahmananda Prabhu, he delivered the album and he had pretty much given up the hope that Bhagavad Gita by Sri Prabhupada will get published. Then, in the midst of polite small talk with the clerk, a young executive happened to appear, hoping to collect his mail. The clerk introduced him to Brahmananda Prabhu. This is James Oshia Ved, our senior editor. Brahmananda Prabhu seized the moment. I am a disciple of a guru from India. Brahmananda Prabhu said, repeating Prabhupada's words verbatim. He translated the Bhagavad Gita. What? The editor said, wait, he responded incredibly. We have just published a full line of spiritual books and we're looking for a Bhagavad Gita to fill out the set. The whole world is looking for Bhagavad Gita knowledge. You please assimilate the knowledge and become an agent for Krishna so that Krishna can use you to give this knowledge to the whole world. The world is burning. Please save the world. Please spread Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita is spoken by the God directly. Krishna. Ete cha vamsa kalapumsa. Krishna is to Bhagavan's way. So, when the editor said, We are looking for Bhagavad Gita to fill out, <laughs> Brahma, the Prabhu's mouth was wide open. He contemplated on Prabhupada's words, how much potency they have. They will publish it, do not worry. So, then, Ved. The editor, he broke the silence. He said, bring the manuscript tomorrow and we will publish it. 
But in front of the Prabhu, raced back to his storefront and told Prabhupada. So Prabhupada was nonchalant, as though he knew what would happen before it happened. And the author, Satyaraja Prabhu, uh, he actually met this person, uh, Shia Wade, and verified this. So this is not me trying to spin some stuff or is content to spin some stuff. Anyway, beyond all that, we sold half a billion books. How did that happen? We all sent our kids to MBS. Would you want your kid to do an MBA case study on how we went about marketing the books? What's the secret in the books? Why are people willing to give up their lives? Willing to stand in heat and cold and tolerating all kinds of things to distribute this knowledge? What compels them? The love which Sri Prabhupada had for his disciples and the happiness which one gets from these books. I trust you will enjoy reading these books. Try it out. Please invest in yourself. 10 minutes a day. Chant. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Do meditation. Do yoga. Invest in yourself. Chant Vedic mantras. They are transcendental. All the energies of God are fully vested in the mantras. Nama Chinta Manik Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Abhinnatvam nama namino nitya mukto abhinnatvam nama namino. Lord Chaitanya said, the word Krishna has all the potencies of Krishna invested in it. It is a chintamani, it is a touchstone. It is fully pure, it is transcendental, it is coming from Goloka Vrindavan. And there is no difference between the name Krishna and the person Krishna. Thank you, Hare Krishna. I am so excited to be talking about Srila Prabhupada, how he pulled up these books. Miracle. Hare Krishna.